Hi guys. Uh, for the last five years, I've been involved uh, with a uh, manufacturer of actual fans. Uh, I've been developing some custom software applications for them. And I've noticed a couple of things with actual fans. Uh, first of all, let me explain what an actual fan is. Actual fans are like fans, uh, I draw one from the side. It looks something like that. And that's the, that's the, and the air goes in from here and goes out through here. That's why it's called actual. It, it goes along the axis of that of that fan. Here's the motor driving that uh, impeller or propeller. Seen from the front, it looks like that. And the propeller would look something like that. Obviously, very simplified. Okay, and what I noticed, I'm gonna say, let me just change the color. What I noticed is that uh, that manufacturer I've been working with and some other manufacturers, there's a gap between that uh, impeller and, uh, and that casing, this gap here. And that gap is costing performance. Uh, those fans are not producing um, as much pressure as they could because through that gap a lot of air escapes and I was thinking why why doesn't anybody do what uh, uh, airplane manufacturers do airplane manufacturers or, or, or uh, airplane engine manufacturers what they do they've got the same thing a casing and they've got those uh, those uh, impeller um, uh, 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 wings there what they do they make the impeller a bit bigger I'll draw it here a bit bigger than the casing something like that and when that impeller rotates for the first time because it's bigger than that because it's bigger than the casing it's gonna uh, uh, grind the groove inside that casing but once that groove exists, there's going to be an airtight, there's an airtight interface. So n minimal uh, 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 pressure losses occur. And I don't know why, why don't fan manufacturers do that? Because, you know, in today's age uh, where everybody's concerned about energy efficiency and so on, I see many manufacturers have lots of gaps here. And worse still, those gaps vary uh, along the circumference because the casings, many casings are not perfectly round. So, for instance, here you can put two fingers in, and here you can only put one finger in. So I think, why not use something like that? Or another alternative is use some, some sort of brushes or something to cover that gap, some sort of flexible stuff to cover that gap uh, and minimize those, those pressure losses. Just an idea that occurred to me. I mean, after all, I'm not a, I'm not a, um, a ventilation expert. I, I just see things, notice these, and uh, I don't understand these.